Hi everybody and welcome back to Alex Elite Golf. Today is a tip request from Mark McNulty on about how we can feel that this right arm is a little bit more tucked in in the downswing. Now, if you want to have your questions asked to myself and a tip reviewed and something that's going to help your golf game, comment down below what tips, what you need to help your golf game for 2019. So the feeling we're trying to create here, we're trying to feel like how do we get this right arm a little bit more tucked in the downswing? There's a few different ways we can talk about this in order to help. So this is for Mark. Don't forget, this is applicable to anybody that wants to improve their golf game and feel they need this added into their game too. So the feeling we're looking for is can we feel as though this right arm gets more tucked in on the way down as opposed to it feeling like it work, works out. So a little bit something like this, a little bit more tucked in. Let's improve our address position to help us tuck this right elbow in on the downswing. Now, the feeling I want you to kind of create a setup here, I see a lot of people with their right arm externally rotated this way. So imagine I had a pin between my crease of my arm and my elbow, it would be almost pointing back into themselves and pointing to the left of target. Now, the, the feeling I want you to try and create here is I want you to take your setup position, grip the golf club and grip it as you normally would. Then take your right hand off and the feeling what it's to create is, imagine we're going to turn the doorknob and we're going to have the palm facing towards the sky. And then we're going to keep the elbow and the arm in this position, but then we're going to turn the palm back towards the golf club. And now we're going to go in and grip the golf club. So the feeling we've got now is that the pin in between our crease and our elbow is pointing more out this way. So more out over the golf ball, not as it was before, more over to the left of the golf ball. So it's almost like we're trying to preempt this position here as opposed to starting here and having to try and find this position we're starting where we mean to go on we're starting where we mean to finish so again we're going to go in take our gut take our normal address position take the right hand off or your trail hand off we're going to go in turn the doorknob got the got the arm in the correct position palm back to the golf club take the grip and the pin's now pointing over the golf ball, not to the left of it. Let's feel like we can hit one now. So this might actually, for a lot of people, be a really simple fix, and just ad addressing your address position will really help you get this feeling of this right arm being tucked in. So let's hit this one now. Really nice there. Great feeling for you just simply to get this right arm tucked in. Now, I like this expression. I like kind of a, a feeling that we could apply to everyday life. Now, if I was gonna throw this golf ball or skim the stone, we would start with our hand in this position, exactly where we were before, apart from we've not added in palm to the golf club. And the feeling I want you to feel here is if you were gonna swing back, it'd come back to this position, and back, and back to this position and we would really feel like we're going to skim that stone to get this right arm more on the side of the body. And I would do this actually feeling and thinking about how we'd actually work the body also. So not only where the arm wants to be, but how we're going to work the body. So to add to this feeling about how we set up with the golf club and how we set up with this right arm, let's add this feeling of feel like we're skimming this stone and we're doing this by actually feeling like the body works more active also. So if we applied this now to the golf club, we'd be in here, turn the doorknob, Palm back to the ball, arm in, take the hand off, in the position, skim the stone. Now, the feeling I would create here is that in the downswing, we're actually trying to feel like we start from the ground up. Now, if we're someone who works a little bit over the top, and this way, it's then going to be very, very hard for you to feel like this right arm is on the side of the body. So just simply adding that feeling of setup to sequencing of the body will really help us actually achieve the position we're looking to create. So again, club in front of you, and this is how I'd really want to feel this. Imagine we're going to start here, skim the stone and really allow the feeling starting from the ground up so the lower half works upper half and then the arm follows so lower half works upper half works and the arm follows so we got this a good address position with the with the pin pointing over the golf ball uh, dress to the top skim the stone and really feel like now the right arm is on the side of the body and guess what we actually start working the golf ball more athletically more fluid and hopefully facilitate this feeling of the right arm on the side of the body right let's hit one again so Address position, take it normally, right arm off, turn the doorknob, get the elbow pointing over the golf ball, turn the palm back to the club, take your grip. Feeling now, I'm going to skim that stone. Like that. Now, hopefully the differences we'd see that we'd see the right arm be more on the side of the body. Now, what I want you to think of here is the final point I want to mention is, is just to think about, we don't want to see that this right arm is going to get stuck behind us. 
We really want to feel like it's going to be on the side of our rib cage throughout. This golf club and arm's not going to work behind and then get stuck behind. We want to feel like this right bicep and tricep stays on the side of this rib cage. And again, going back to skimming the stone feeling, what we do at address will really help us achieve this. So a simple way in, in order to how to set up to this golf ball, but then also a kind of a feeling in general life of skimming the stone to how we can actually aid this feeling further. Thank you for watching. I hope this tip helps everybody. But also, if you want to comment down below on what tips will help you improve your golf game and they will be answered up on the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.